Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here. Another cat and mouse. Actually, I think the little critter in this photo is a, actually a gerbil, but pretty close. We'll call it cat and mouse. Get the kitty under control first. And then we'll go on to the gerbil slash mouse. And all you'd have to do to make this into a mouse is to just make the nose a little more pointed. And ears maybe. Well, the ears might be a little bit bigger on a mouse. But they're pretty darn close, I think. It's not very smart little creature, though. Going right up to the kitty like that, hey? But you never know, maybe they're friends, because I have actually seen some videos and stuff of cats and and little creatures of some kind being friends. Not sure I'd want to turn my back on them, though. Get those eyes in there. Just a really quick gesture sketch. Little smirk. Sneaking kitty. See, gerbils don't have quite as pointy of a nose as a mouse does. To me, gerbils look like miniature kangaroos. Like, look at the way they hold their little front paws up. I grew up with gerbils as a kid. Mostly my brother that had them. Not the greatest to have cats and other creatures like that, is it? I'll stick with cats anyhow. Because they make life perfect. Just suggestions of tabby markings. They really help pump energy into the drawing. You know, if you just allow them to kind of be part of the energy rather than worry about them being exactly the same way as you see them. I'm going four times the speed here. And when I get down to the whiskers, I'm going to go down to more like two times the speed and voicing over. I love to hear from you, so please feel free to drop me a comment about yourself or your cat or whatever. I love to hear what you want to learn about cat drawing. I'm always looking for ideas. Just doing some real dark outlining now to help things pop. You can learn so much from these quick gesture sketches. And they're so fun. I find the preliminary sketch usually has the most character of all. Now we'll put some whiskers in there on both of them. A lot of times I soften up with an eraser that where the whiskers connect to the face because it just kind of over overpowers it if it's too strong there. Thank you so much for watching today and we will see you next time.